Hi, I'm Plastician, and this week I'm back at Rinse FM to have a quick chat with production duo Maison Sky. Guys, Maison Sky, thanks very much for coming right. to uh, Rinse on, FM. And it's going to be quite interesting to talk to you guys because before you were Maison Sky, you actually like had made a name for yourself within the dubstep scene as Soap Dodgers. Was that like your introduction to music production, or were you doing stuff before that as well? Uh, officially, but we started, we used to make grime back in high school. Oh, right. yeah. That's where it, like on Fruity Loops, and that's where it first started. And then it went from that into Soap Dodgers, which started quite loosely at the beginning anyway. And then it just sort of became something all the way through there. So it's been great, we've been making music together for probably six years or something. Did you meet each other at school as well? Yeah, school. Been friends from school. Yeah, it was all through music really. So yeah, it's literally through that, probably about six years now. So getting into grime and that at school, like how was, you, was, that, your, was that your kind of introduction into underground bass music and, and yeah, just dance music? Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we were well into that at one point, but that was quite short lived through that. That was, that was more just like us making stuff together. More, we weren't really in the scene, but we just like the music, so we'd just make the music, so we were sort of learning, learning about the like, software yeah, stuff as well. production and stuff through that. I think Fruity Loops is a good way to yeah, do it. Yeah. I, think Every, like, I think everyone's had it, isn't it? Definitely, everyone's got, yeah. everyone's that, was, it. that was my introduction to production, and I'm yeah. sure it was a lot of people, especially yeah. like Grime as well. Mm. So you started out making Grime, and then you moved on, became Soap Dodgers, and had releases on Wheel and Deal. How did the link up happen with N-Type? How did that kind of come about? That was just sending him tunes, isn't it? I think it was literally, we got his aim and the first thing we sent him was number six and that was just literally picked up on that straight away. And then we wrote, a, I think we wrote, we were writing, trying to write a B for that, wrote a couple and then it just happened as the first release through that and then this sort of like relationship just went from there. So he was like the main one that we used to, that would go through for dubstep stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which was good, yeah. And so how long were you releasing stuff under that alias for? Two and a half years? Mm. Maybe two, maybe two. nearly three. No, no, no. It was two not? years. No. They're not good with time. It's two years. <laughs> yeah. It's two years. Because I think we've done, we done um, two releases and one EP. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it was about two years. I think we've done the first two releases. We've done two singles in one year and then we've done an EP. And then I think that was the last one we've done. So moving quite fastly on towards Maze on Sky, where we're at now. What was the thought process from um, making the change? Was it was it just that you became more interested in like more house oriented music? Yeah, we done it without sort of realizing. I think like we started we started making some 130 stuff still under that alias. Just started sending it to like Roska and Zinc. Yeah, which is sort of how the rinse thing come up as well. And then um, yeah, we saw we just weren't making anything in the studio. That was 140 without so without realizing we'd almost made the switch without sort of saying to each other, oh, should we actually go and do this? And then we just carried on making stuff and that's when like the first release sort of come out was by doing that. So you guys started sending stuff to Roska and Zinc and you mentioned Zinc and I think that was my introduction to your music. Um, mm. Zinc's obviously on the radio before me and I heard the guest mix that you did yeah. for him and was that was that what kind of introduced you to Rinse as well and how the Rinse release came about? No, that was through Temper. Okay. Well that was through knowing Rat really because we'd, we'd done the release on Temper which when we when we first changed over, we thought it would be a good place to start. We went that's yeah. why we went to Rat and said, "Oh, we've got this new idea, like we want to do it with you." And then it sort of went through there. So that's how we had the rinse introduction, was through that. And then Zinc, Zinc, yeah, Zinc just asked us to do the mix through Sedative Music. So it all sort of it all linked together because we had them supporting the tunes at the start, and we knew Rat. It just seemed to be the right place to sort of go to start with. Definitely which is good. It's a definitely a good fit. I think like with the direction that Rinse as a station has kind of taken, your sound works really well in amongst everything that's mm. going on. As you as you work as a as a pair, do you, are you always in the studio together? Is there ever a time where you kind of sit on your own, make something, and then get together and like work on an idea, uh, or are you constantly in the studio together? Most ninety percent of the time, yeah. If he's not at mine, then I'll sometimes I'll like start something, but everything gets finished like 50-50. And do you kind of have the same? Do you ever have that like? The too, the too many chefs spoil the broth kind of thing. Are you, are you both like very hands on or? Is, think, a I little think, bit, yeah. I think we're not afraid to tell each other what we don't like. And I think yeah. it's good sometimes, like we're, we're, we're definitely individuals and we have our own opinions on certain things, but because we're mates, we can have a disagreement about something. Over like, like a hi-hat. Right? <laughs> and then that's done. And then we agree with one another. Yeah. No, I think it works. I think if you're working with someone you don't like, 
when you've got a different opinion, yeah. it's not going to work. It can just take yeah. longer to finish things though, because yeah. you're just arguing over something and then you yeah. just sort of, by the end you just scrap it, yeah. which is I why mean, it you, takes a while. If you met at school, you're li you literally must be like brothers. You must have yeah, had some scraps much. down the years. I pretty, <laughs> pretty much live with him. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, my, my second mum. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. So. Looking forward more into the future, what can we expect to see from you guys over the next few months? I think just, um, we've got a lot of gigs coming up. We've got, I think we're doing a mix, we're doing a mix with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think we're gonna be doing another thing on, just mixes really, mixes and bookings. Just kind of like solidifying that. the name, getting we've got a remix yeah. coming out as well on food music with um, for Shadow Child's new single. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. music, and yeah, just, it's just music. Constantly. It's constant music. Constant yeah. music. Yeah. Digging deep. Who inspires you in house music at the moment? What are the artists that um, that, that you really are into at the moment? Um, it's, it's sort of, I'm sort of finding a new, like a lot of new ones lately. Even probably not new artists, but people like, we've always been into machine. like. I like Machine. Yeah, drum. Machine. Yeah. Like Bamboo. And I like a lot of the French yeah. stuff as well, mm. which I find quite interesting. Even people like Benjamin Damage and stuff like They're not new artists, but they're sort of newer to us because yeah, we're yeah. just starting to branch out, which. Is a lot more interesting, like musically, because I'm finding a lot more music that all the time hearing stuff and be like, well, that's fucking good. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks very much for passing through. Appreciate Looking it. forward to Appreciate having it. you guys on the show. Yeah, uh, yeah To definitely. listen to uh, what you've been up to lately as well. And uh, big up, good luck in the studio, and awesome. good luck with Cheers, everything you're up to. That. Thanks, thanks very much. Cheers. Big up. Mm -hmm.